Right, what we're going to talk about on this video is all about styles in Word. Now, I cannot stress how important styles are. Styles are the lifeblood of um, Word. Um, a very common thing I had when I used to train was that people were fed up with Word because it used to do some very strange, freaky things when you hit the delete key. Sometimes the text would jump down and, and do things that you weren't expecting. And then no matter how hard you tried highlighting it, you could never get the formatting back to the way it was. Well, this is generally down to the, the, the styles options. So if you don't understand styles, you really don't understand word it's as simple as that so what I'm going to try and um, bring across to you on this video is the very 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 important aspects of styles and how it will actually save you time in the long run so to start with what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to put some um, text onto the screen now um, there's a little trick here which um, some developers and trainers know if you just wanted to put some sample text onto the screen um, so this is sort of like a, a back door that Microsoft put in so if you put in the equal symbol and then type in RAND R A N D open a bracket and then in um, numbers just type in the number of paragraphs you want so I'm going to be quite greedy here and say I want a hundred paragraphs and when you press enter watch what happens it immediately puts in a hundred paragraphs of text for you um, so I'm going to now just press control home because at the moment I'm on page 11 I'm just going to do control home which will take me back up to the top so I'm back on page one and as you can see it's all nicely lovely formatted but I may not want it like this so your traditional method of formatting would be to oh, I'll highlight this paragraph and up here I will change the font and as a result there you go I've changed that paragraph but if I wanted to change all of the paragraphs well you could argue and say well I could um, select all um, which keyboard shortcut wise could be control A then go up here and choose the font you want okay great but what if what if in between the first two paragraphs you had something else that you didn't want in the same format so I want to just type in here different format so this particular line here wants to be in a completely different format to the rest. Now the problem with using Control A, select all, and formatting it in the, in the manner that we've done is you are going to do it to everything. Now that is the problem with word processing, is that if you just use the standard drop down boxes at the top, you are not going to get the full benefit of the system. What we need to do instead is we need to focus on styles. So I'm just going to um, click on undo a, a few times just to get the formatting back to as it was before I started fiddling. And I'm again, I'm just going to go in here and just put in different. Oh. format and so I've, I've got this structure now if I wanted to change everything on mass rather than doing um, this text what I would do is go up here into the style section now different formats or sorry different versions of word would display this in a different area but everybody should see on their toolbars normal now normal just indicates that you're using the normal font now what you can do in um, 2007's version of Word is if you right click on this and choose modify this will take you into modifying the style in earlier versions the way you would do this is go to the format menu choose styles and then select normal on the list and then click on to modify and then you'll come to exactly the same screen so what have we got here well we've got the name normal and style for following paragraph is normal so what that means is every time you press enter you are creating a new paragraph so when I press enter what it's telling the computer to do is next paragraph should have this following style which again will be normal now not all styles are going to want to work that way and I'll show you that in a short while but what I want to do is a quick change I want to change the font so format font down here I'm going to adjust this to being in let's say just type in the T's to Homer and OK that. And I'm going to change the font to something ridiculous like 14 points and OK. So there we go. Immediately it's changed the whole document. If I just do Control End, you'll see that the fonts at the bottom are exactly the same format as the fonts at the top. But what I want to do is I want this 
different format line to be in a different style altogether. So up at the top again, what I'm going to do is rather than selecting normal, I'm going to select heading one. And can you see what's happened immediately on, on 2007? It's visible in earlier versions. You'll have to click on it to see the, see the change. But as you can see, what's happened is I've now changed this particular line, or I should say paragraph, into being a different style compared to the others. Now, from now on, if I do Control A and start trying to change the font, I'm going to do a overall change to all the text. What's better now is if I use the styles. So up here then on Normal, let's say I wanted to change the font to something else. If I modify it again, and in here, let's say I want um, Times New Roman, which is quite a different style of font. If I OK, watch what happens. Can you see immediately the entire document has changed to go down to the bottom and back up to the top but the only thing which is different is this line here is still in the different format that we specified because can you see it's immediately highlighted heading one whereas if I click in here it's on to the normal style again so it's very important to understand when it comes to styles the differences that you can apply to your paragraphs now this is where the fun starts so um, some of the standard sort of crazy formatting issues you may come across is when you when you click at the beginning of a paragraph and then you press backspace can you see what's happened it's changed the entire text well this is where you really need to understand styles now I'm going to just undo that change and try and explain it to you now on your toolbar in Word you should see what looks like a backwards P which is the paragraph mark option. Um, it's generally known as show hide. Now if you click on that what you'll find is you get lots of freaky little symbols on the screen. Um, the two that we're going to worry about here is as you can see there's little dots in between each of the words. Let me zoom in just so it's a little bit clearer for you. Now those dots in between those words indicate spaces and the backwards P's indicate paragraph marks. So what is a paragraph mark? Well, if I go to the end here and press enter or return on your keyboard, you'll see it creates what you probably know it is as a new line, but in actual fact, you're not creating new lines, you're creating new paragraphs. So let me just backspace to get rid of that. So we're back to where we were before. So think about it for a moment. We have this distinct format here and then this distinct format here. Now if I click at the beginning and I press the backspace key, where, what's it going to delete? Well what it's going to do is it's going to get rid of this paragraph mark and as a result all formatting that exists on that line will be applied to the, previous, the, the lines underneath it. So watch this, if I click on here and press backspace, the backwards P has now disappeared because you've got rid of that end of paragraph marker and it's now been replaced with the one here. So as a result, you have now changed the entire text to that same paragraph style. And then this is where you always have the problem because then you go, oh, I made a mistake. I'll press enter. But because you've done that, you are now retaining the style across two set distinct different paragraphs. What you need to do is at this point, go up to the top and choose normal. And as a result, as you can see, it's changed it back to the way it was. So styles are very important to Word. However, at the same time, you've got to be quite careful because if you don't know about these paragraph marks, these pesky little blighters here, you can soon get into so much trouble in regards to your formatting. Every document that I do nowadays works on styles only. I do not use any other format. I very rarely go and highlight here. The only time I would come up here is if I wanted to accentuate a specific word and make it bold, italic and underline because it's just a, a, a slight difference to the norm in that paragraph. But everything else I would not really touch. If I wanted to change it, this would be a global change. And if I'm doing a global change, I would use styles. Now, coming up on subsequent videos, we're going to discuss styles in a bit more depth, specifically things like the Heading 1, Heading 2, Heading 3, etc. These particular styles are very, very important if you're intending to do any kind of large documentation. Um, anything I would say over five to um, six pages long, you should really be using styles. And using styles will save you a lot of pain in, in a short while. So on the next video, we'll start discussing um, the style hierarchies. So hope you can watch that one.